Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into the latest Mouth Cancer vlog here on Mechanic Parts' YouTube channel. So coming up to a month, it'll be one month on Thursday, or four weeks on Thursday, uh, since I have the tongue cancer removed from the uh, right hand side of my tongue, and also a selective neck dissection to check the uh, lymph nodes, check the glands uh, in, in the neck. And so, you know, another milestone is on the way, and I thought I'd do a vlog, you know, just to, to uh, tell you how I'm doing, how I'm sounding, how I'm looking. Uh, you will notice that I managed to have a complete shave. Um, uh, last night, I managed to have a complete shave, and uh, I'll show how the scar is looking. I have shaved over the scar for the first time. It was, it was fine, no problems uh, there whatsoever. It was very, very gentle. Uh, you know, and just uh, just uh, shaved over the scar. There was, there was no uh, issue. It did sink a little bit afterwards. Um, but, you know, I applied some moisturiser. It very quickly settled down. And uh, this morning it's been absolutely fine. So um, I'll get on with the video for you. I'll actually have a look at my tongue as well, if I can. I have noticed that my tongue is shorter uh, than it used to be. So I can't get my tongue out as far. Whether that will improve, I don't know. I have still got some stitching in my mouth, so it could be when the stitches have gone, I'll be able to get my tongue out even further. Uh, but at the moment, you know, my tongue is quite a way back, and I can't push it full. So whether you'll be able to see much of my tongue, I don't know. But I will try and let you have a look in a moment. And, uh, you know, I'll just go through how things are, are progressing uh, in a second, but just say that if you're enjoying the uh, Mouth Cancer vlogs on the channel at the moment, finding them interesting and informative, then please can you like and subscribe. I mean, you so much, everybody. Uh, i doing that. Right, so I say it's four weeks on Thursday since I had uh, my operation at uh, NGH. Uh, they removed a, uh, a tongue cancer, small tongue cancer, with a wide excision, then stitched up the tongue, you know, stitched it back up. I didn't need. Um, I didn't need like a graft or anything like that, nothing too radical. And uh, they also did a uh, neck dissection. I'll show you how the cancer looks, shall I, on my tongue around a week, 10 days before the operation. So this is how it looked a few days before the operation. There it is, you can see it, that area just there, looking quite ulcerated. You look around being was sore. There's a close-up view of <laughs> my mouth. Not sure you want to see that particularly, but um, yeah, you look about and think it was short, uh, sore. It wasn't overly. I didn't really have a lot of pain uh, with that. Um, we'll move away from that quite quickly. I think you shouldn't want to see that for too long. Um, I didn't really have a lot of pain, to be honest, um, with with the uh, ulcer. Um, yeah, a little bit of soreness when I when I ate, ate a little bit, but but nothing overly dramatic at all, really. And it didn't really bleed until the morning of the operation, actually. And funnily enough, you know, whether whether it was, um, you know, the, the cancer protesting about what was going to happen, I don't know. But just before I left uh, Gazwell's Towers on that Thursday morning to go to the hospital, I did notice that it was bleeding a little bit. There was, you know, a little bit of bleeding from the ulcer. And that was really the very first time uh, I've noticed blood from it. So, obviously, it was progressing. It was beginning to get worse. Um, and, and I think mean, it's a good job, you know, that, that I had it removed uh, when I did because um, bleeding from uh, cancer is, is like a, a, a sign of progression, I think, and, and a sign that getting a little bit more invasive into the deeper tissues. So, I hopefully, I caught this just in time. Hopefully, we got it just in time before it invaded too deeply. Um, but yeah, it's very strange that like on the morning of the operation, it was actually bleeding uh, a little bit. So I'll let you have a, a let, I'll let you have a look at my neck first of all, because that's easier to see. So there's my neck. You still have a complete shade. Um, it's a bit swollen under the under the neck around here, you know, where they're taking the glands. I think that's going to take a few weeks or months to revo to resolve. It should eventually. This swelling around here should eventually uh, go. It's quite numb as well. Uh, all around here, you know, quite a numb sort of um, feel. A little bit of, um, a little bit coming back, a little bit of um, sensation coming back. Around here, it's a bit numb as well, uh, along the jawline. Just feels like I've had an anaesthetic, really, a low kind of anaesthetic. You know how it feels when you go to the dentist, you're going to have a tooth extraction or feel. They put in um, a shot of low kind of anaesthetic. It feels a bit like that uh, around here on the jawline. Uh, and then that sends down. 
you know, under there. That's how the uh, scar is looking. So the scar goes from under my ear round to uh, my throat. Uh, it's quite a significant scar. They've hidden it well. Um, so I've got to shave a little bit along the scar. So not, it's, you know, it's, it look, it'll look better than that when it's completely shaved. I want to, I did shave it, but I, I didn't want to go too far with shaving it this first time. If you see what I mean. So I, I did my best with it. Um, but it needs shaving again, and in a couple of days I'll give, give it another shave, and you know uh, it'll look better when when all of those little hairs and uh, whiskers and whatnot are gone. But um, yeah, they've hidden it really well. You know, it, it, it's uh, it's along the crease, and eventually the sky is going to fade into uh, the crease. So so over time the sky will settle down, and, and I'll just um, you know it'll get old with me, and I'll get old um, with the sky. Now the tongue. So let's just have a quick look about it again. So remember, that's how the tongue was looking um, before the operation. That is the tongue cancer. Uh, this is how it's looking now. So I don't know how it's going to work out. Don't you really see much or not? Because as I say, I'm trying to get my... I'm trying to show you. I, I can get my tongue uh, there, onto, that, onto that cheek just there. Uh, but I can't get over the other way. Uh, <laughs> I've been, I've been trying to use my tongue to my left cheek, but I just, you know, just just doesn't stretch that far. So I definitely have, like, a shorter tongue. Um, I can stick it out a little bit, uh, like that, but I can't, I can't, you know, get it out as far as I used to be able to. Now, this is how it actually looks on the right-hand side of my tongue. Uh, now, I hope you'll be able to see this. Uh, so here we go. Uh, uh. Just that. Cancer is gone. Hope you was able to see that. Cancer is gone. Uh, it's still healing. So it's still quite a bit of scarring and whatnot. There is still stitches as well. Uh, like uh, in the floor of the mouth and where the tongue goes to the floor of the mouth. So there's still a bit of stitching uh, in there. Um, and there's another stitch I have noticed right at the very back. I thought the stitches at the very back had gone, but there's still one stitch right at the very back. So I'm thinking that when all the stitching has gone, you know, dissolved, um, then my tongue will probably be a little bit more mobile than it is uh, right now. But overall, I can't complain, you know. Overall, I can't complain of how I've come out of this operation. I was expecting it be far worse. I expected my speech to be worse. I was expecting my swallowing to uh, be worse. And, um, you know, there was a time when I think that uh, it was the end for me, uh, really, uh, on, on YouTube and um, with Gaz Weathers, because I think who's going to want to see so he can't speak properly uh, during the weather. But I, you know, I, I'm good enough to do the weather now, as I said in my last video. The only reason I'm holding back on uh, restarting web videos is just to see on Thursday whether I'm going to need any achievement treatment because there's no point coming back and then in a couple of weeks I've got to go off again and have six weeks of radiotherapy. I might just want to stay off, you know, until until all the treatment is done. So I don't know. I still don't know if I'm having achievement treatment or not. I will find that out on Thursday. Uh, so just a couple of days to go now. And then uh, I'll have my follow-up appointment. All of the biopsy results will be back by then. And then we'll know uh, where thing, things are going. Um, but from a speech perspective, I could do the weather videos um, now. You know, understandable enough, I think, at this point to be able to do the weather videos. It's only like one month after the operation, or just under one month after the operation. Um, and so, it's still early days, really. It's going to take another few months for everything to settle down and heal up. So, I reckon in the end, I'm going to come out of this sounding more or less like I did. Probably with a slight impediment. Probably, probably with a slight slur on uh, some words. S's, I think, will continue to be rather troublesome. So, you will probably notice a difference on the S, on the S sound. But overall, I can't complain. You know, for what it was, what it is, um, I don't think I don't think I've come out of it too badly at all. Don't think I'm going to come out of it too badly at all. And I am pretty pleased, and you know, I'm 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 relieved more than anything else uh, at how I've come out of this pretty significant, uh, major uh, operation. 
So, uh, everything's going fine, everything's great, I'm doing well, I haven't done a video since Friday, so that's why I thought I'd do a video today. I'm doing great, I'm doing fine, um, and, and it's all going uh, absolutely uh, uh, amazingly well. Uh, got the operation, uh, not the operation I'm talking about, got the, uh, not, not going to be any more operations, got the appointment coming up on um, Thursday uh, at NGH with my doctor, Mr. Amorelli, and I shall find out then whether, whether uh, you know, I'm going to need further treatment. Uh, if I do, it will definitely be radiotherapy, um, possibly combined with chemo. Uh, they, don't, they don't very often give chemo uh, with mouth cancer, to, to be honest, but um, because it can't cure it. But sometimes they will give it, you know, to make the radiotherapy more effective, if you see what I mean. Um, so just going to see about that whether that is uh, recommended or not. I'm hoping it won't be. If it isn't, then uh, I'll be able to start getting the weather videos back uh, next week. It'll, the weather videos will start coming back next week. One bit, Just one video a day uh, on the weather channel, probably a 10 to 14 day, and then we'll gradually begin to build up uh, from there and, and get it all back, you know, by, by June, hopefully. If, however, I need further treatment, then uh, then I suspect uh, I probably won't bring the weather videos back because the further treatment will begin, you know, quite shortly now. There's normally like a, a, a four to six week gap between uh, the operation and like further treatment, radiotherapy and whatnot. So I'm already a month out, so it won't be long from this follow-up appointment if I do need further treatment, but but it begins. So I probably won't bother bringing the weather videos back if I do need further treatment, and they'll come back then after the uh, adjuvant treatment has ended, which will be later on into the summer. So a very important day coming up on Thursday, significant uh, appointment, and, uh, and I'll let everybody know, um, you know, what, what the upshot of that is. Uh, and uh, of course, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let everyone know. Uh, on Thursday evening in a video, uh, most likely. Yeah, but it's all gone great, so keep your fingers crossed for me, everybody. I know you will. It's all gone great. It's all gone fine. Recovery continues, and uh, um, and we see on Thursday where we go next. Uh, so that's it for this little vlog. You enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, but that's all right. Thanks for watching.